In 2002, Transformers Armada was released, and in that show, we saw as Optimus Prime and Jetfire combined together as Jet Convoy, and later on, we saw the same thing in the Revenge of the Fallen live-action Bayformance adaption. I think because of these, the Make Toys third-party company decided to make their own version of this gimmick, so bear with me guys, because we're gonna check out four figures at the same time, who are none other than Make Toy Striker Manus and Master Skywing, aka Optimus Prime and Jetfire, and Noir with Dark Master Skywing, aka Nemesis Prime and Dark Jetfire. So let's take a look at them with my partner Ravage. Morning, Midbags. First, let's check out the two Primes in their vehicle modes. These semi Cybertronian trucks have a nice and detailed design, the sculpting is wide, and the usual Optimus and Nemesis colors make them recognizable, which is actually an important thing, right, Mr. Bay? I'm not a Cyclops, you stupid bastard. You calling him a bastard or me? Yes. The trucks are nice and solid, rolling okay, and as you can see, we can store the axes on their back as exhaust pipes. Unfortunately, my Optimus don't have them, so I'm using Nemesis's weapons, and I can use something else for Nemesis himself. We're gonna check those later. For next, let's check out the Jetfire Brothers and these airplane modes, which are fantastic. They look exactly like the Queen Jet from the Avengers movies. The white and black colors are make them even better. I just adore this design. They somehow made them bulky and sleek at the same time. We have some foldable landing gears at the bottom, they are nice and solid as well, except at the tip of the wings which are a little bit loose, but thankfully it is still manageable to keep them in place, you just need to be gentle when you're handling them. Just like with the ladies. Revy, oh wait, you're actually right this time. They are really look good together, the designs and colors matches nicely, but I think we admire these nice vehicle modes enough. Now let's check out their robot mode, and because the pairs are the same, we're gonna transform just one of each of them to keep the video smooth and simple. Just like your brains. Ah! First of all, here we have the Primes in their robot modes, and I have to say, they are definitely hitting the gym. Cause you are jacked! The wild sculpting is still phenomenal on both figures, the colors are still wonderful, and the overall look is just epic. Speaking of epic... Oh, thank you. I'm talking about the accessories. Aww. Optimus usually get his pair of axes, you can put them together to make a small shield, and this gun, which was the top of the track mode, and that's really it, he don't has anything else. Nemesis on the other hand... Oh my god, that's so much! That's what she said. Other than the axes and the main gun, we have a sword, two ninja blades, a gun, another gun, double blades, which can be combined with the second gun, a longer handle for the blades, dual pistols, double machine guns, and two holders for the back of the waist, 
to keep the weapons in place in a robot and a vehicle form, what else did you want? Nemesis Superior, Optimus Inferior. You can also put both of the figures into some really sick poses, the joints are nice and solid, and if we are using the accessories, we can make some really epic action scenes, they are just full of life. And second of all, here we have the Master Skywings in their robot forms, and I have to say, I just love this design. Both the black and white versions are wonderful color variations, they are buffed as hell, and the guys just look really nice. We can put the guns from their back into their hands, yes, they can hold the previously mentioned accessories as well, and we can put them into some really nice poses, also the visors are closable. So they are uh, plausible, possible, but not durable? Well, yes, our only problem... Your only problem? My only problem is the back panel on the dark version, which sometimes can be fragile. Just like one of the leg panels, I need to fix it later with some super glue. I saw this problem in other people's videos, however, the white version don't have this problem, so I don't know what happened here. But we are not finished just yet, because we need to check out one last thing with the figures. The combination mode. Let's combine! And here we have the jet convoys in their combined form, and I have to say, they all look very good. The bulky designs are even bulkier. We put the best elements together from each figure, and the color mixing are phenomenal on both versions. We have an extra accessory in this mode, a removable transparent matrix of leadership in blue and red colors, but it's really small, so it's just better if we keep them behind this transparent chest, which is, looks really good in my opinion. Thanks to these huge wings and the 90 degree angle panel at the back they can be a little bit back heavy, but as you can see it is still manageable to stand them up. So we can say they can stood up for themselves? Revich, please leave the horrible dad jokes to me. Yeah, okay. Because of the extra pieces, it's a little bit harder now to put them into some poses, they are much more heavier than before, but as you can see it is still manageable and the posability is the same as the first time with the prime figures. I have just one small issue though. What should I do with this? No, seriously, we are literally taking off the limbs from Jetfire and leaving his torso completely out from the combination. Oh, but silver, no, no, but silver, make the torso the part of the combination like the rest of the Transformers, because it just looks like a really stupid scenario when Optimus asks Jetfire, Hey pal, can I wear your arms as gloves and your legs as boots? And Jetfire like, what mate? It's a shame because the design is really good, but now I have to come up with an idea to give purpose to the torso like this little vocal mode, uh, which is kind of stupid. You said it, not me. But yeah, other than this not so small part, the combination is actually decent and fun, you can even switch the partners to make some other color variations, so overall it is still a fun thing to do. For some size comparison here they are next to Iron Factory Shattered Glass Jetfire, Make Toys Gut Bummer, Make Toys Megatronus, and of course the inimitable MPB10Z, Vajang, Masterpiece, Optimus, Prime. What can we tell about the Make Toys Primes and Jetfires in the end? I will give. Four Optobot and Decepticon symbols out of five. These are not the highest quality, but still nice quality figures. They nailed all of the designs just right, both for the vehicle and robot forms. The transformations are not too complicated and still fun. The possibility is good. For Nemesis, we get a bunch of accessories. And beside the torso problem, the combinations are fun as well. So a huge thank you to my lovely fiance. I really like these figures against all issues. You just have to keep them in mind, but if you liked what you saw, 
I can still recommend these guys for a cheaper price because that way they can still worth it. Stay tuned for the next video beatbacks because next time we're gonna check out an elegant weapon for a more civilized age.